all right steam controller no longer works again so we're gonna be doing other software because steam controller has let me down for the last time and it's been two times twice is twice is too much twice is uh enough is enough so let's do a free version and a paid version of alternatives to gyro mapping on pc using the switch controller let's get right into it all right uh first we'll start off with joyshock mapper which is a technology made by gypsmart he's actually pretty cool talked to him a few times not a lot of times but just a few um his site right here is gyrowiki.wiki.com um get started with joyshock mapper this is where you download it installing jsm oh just download the latest release from here i was confused for a second i haven't been here for a while okay so it'll show you to the github um click on actually i think the x64 yeah it'd be x64 if you have a modern cpu if i remember okay we will extract that you're gonna have a folder like this and it's gonna be auto load gyro fix change log read me i would suggest reading the read me um gyro configs um these are how you set up your your switch controller to the joyshock mapper thing let me open it up actually yeah zero device connected it looks like a terminal um there's no gui so it's a so for people that might not be you know a little bit less knowledgeable in terminal and all that and command prompt this might be a little bit jarring to you but it's okay because um all that you have to do is use one of these auto loads and here's, where's where's the website where did i put the website did i just close the website i did didn't i i did okay let me open it back up my bad and since our main game is Fortnite, we're gonna go to games on the website, Gyro Wiki. And then we're gonna go scroll down to Fortnite. Uh, these are pretty much if you wanna do your own thing. But down here, there are already configurations made by communities. There's Here's here's where I am. Um, this is for virtual controller gyro, basically. Uh, you go into your notepad. you copy everything on here where is it and then you paste it save as and then what you're going to want to do is save it as the name of the fortnite thing so it's going to be called fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping oh i'm so tired i haven't slept a lot um but yeah you're going to name it that and then you're going to save it in auto load and then once you do that, I'm not gonna save since I already have it. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to restart Joyshock since I don't have my Switch, co Switch controller connected. So, I'm gonna connect my Switch controller. You're gonna hear a sound if it's a USB, like that. We're gonna restart Joyshock. Now it says one device connected and I heard, felt a little bit of a vibration shock and when i move the controller everything the the joyshock mapper is sensing my movement and my input as you can see right here i'm doing a lot of stuff right now uh yeah but now that that's figured out we're gonna launch fortnite i actually haven't played in a while okay we're back here now if you move your controller around it should pop up as an xbox controller naturally oh okay cool all right so let's go into battle lab check it out i mean you could just move around to get the, the whatchamacallit the menu with your controller see if it works now we're gonna check out the gyro in game on battle lab as i always do other than my game freaking out on me um you can see that the gyro is working i am moving my controller um just to show that i'm not bullshitting let me as you can see that as i move the game moves it's even seeing my inputs not my uh not my abx or y because i'm tabbed out but it can see my gyro inputs and it's doing it it's doing the thing 
so yeah that works it, it definitely works um yeah this one's the free version this one's the free way to do it there's also i'm actually going to show you the one where uh you have to pay for it but it actually is pretty cool so uh hold on let me let me get to it all right so now we're going to check out rewaz it is a remapper it remaps controllers very simple um and it works with nintendo switch uh, you can do a free 14 day trial if you're not too sure about this software or you can buy it for like seven dollars if you want like the bare bones remapper um i i got the uh the everything pack so it was like 24 dollars um and it was the best investment i've made because now i can use my switch control on basically everything i would suggest since you know you want to try it out and see if it's for you download the for free 14 day trial and um they have a few configs on here they're made by other people i really haven't had much luck from them so i had to pretty much make them myself where's rewazed let's open that up and okay yeah it automatically picks up my game not my game my controller why is that on slot one is it really only slot one that is that's weird that's not what i wanted for slot one uh just do switch to xbox one for that why okay emulation should be turned okay cool 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 all right so this is what rewaz looks like um my bad i was looking at why everything was not not the way i wanted it to be uh but yeah this is rewaz basically lets you you know remap all your stuff to what controller you actually choose so for me i have both because i have the full thing i have it where both it'll emulate an xbox one controller and also has gyro you can see the gyro symbol right here and also have it to where it emulates a ps4 controller and as you can see the gyro is also here um you can also use this wizard tool this wand to automatically do it yourself for xbox or ps4 controller and um then you can just do the gyro yourself i have it where it's gyro to right stick and this is actually pretty user friendly um joystick mapper is also pretty user friendly it's just that rewatch also is a paid a paid thing and it has a gui so i kind of use both interchangeably depends on the game uh, mostly i think for fortnite i use joystick mapper and for other games like war war z or cod or other games i use rewazed um but yeah you can set it up here here let me go to advanced because sensitivity works differently in rewazed than it does in joyshock mapper uh this is my response curve it's it's kind of weird the last part shows like the the strength or sensitivity of your gyro so it feels kind of weird uh compared to joyshock mapper where that one feels a bit more natural this one feels it's so hard to put it it feels aggressive in a in a sense so um let's just open back up fortnite and use it as you can see uh rewaz is running and it can even tell my controller battery so it's running it's connected it knows my switch is there now let's go to fortnite again so like joyshock mapper uh move your controller that's when the game starts recognizing your controller move it around sees it as an xbox one controller uh feels kind of just like joyshock mapper actually a lot like joyshock mapper um because it's still an xbox one controller you're gonna see why i uh kind of prefer joyshock mapper over rewaz for this game's gyro it just feels so weird it feels too aggressive for me i feel like i can't i have to fine tune it for like actual like the sensitivity that i like okay yeah it's it's super aggressive it's super hard to fine tune um i haven't been really able to find a way to fine tune it i think i just need to keep messing with it more but yeah, the gyro works um yeah there we there we go there's a is there any crow around like last time this might this, oh hello
This gun's still not, not, bad, not good. <laughs> not good at all. Okay, use, use either. It's pretty cool. Uh, Rewaz, I feel like it has a lot. Mm, no, I actually, I can't say that because Joystick Mapper also allows you to do PS4 controller and all that. I feel like if you're, if you want something that, you know, has a, has a GUI, a, G, a UI interface, use it, use a uh, Rewaz. If you don't really care, you just want the game to work and you don't want to spend money, use Joystick Mapper. And I really recommend Joystick Mapper, actually. I also recommend, uh, supporting Jib Smart. He's actually a really cool guy and his his app is good very good oh by the way uh to change the way the gyro behaves go to preferences uh game pads gyro steering axis yaw or roll oh it even shows your preview yeah roll is basically leaning your controller left and right yaw is pivoting it left and right which is what i use a lot for my games i i use yaw and i do not like roll but it's all compared to it's all in preference uh, and I like that you're able to switch that around. You're also able to do that in Joyshock Mapper as well. Um, I don't really remember the exact way how, but I know you can do it because I'm using y'all on, uh, Joyshock Mapper. So, yeah, that was something that I sh wanted to mention. So, yeah. That's how you get around Steam Controller not working on Fortnite and every other game because Steam Controller and Epic decided to, you know, be, uh, be bums. So, yeah, anyways. That's, that's all I have for today. Um, I hope that this was a helpful video. I know it's like a little bit all over the place because, you know, that's usually my character. So, yeah. Um, but it should, I hope it's enough to, you know, get you through the tutorials and what to use for playing Switch controller. Um, I know there's other things like, which, what's it called? Uh, not Joyshock Mapper. It is Better Joy better joy uh i haven't really used it that much i don't think i really like better joy um but i know some people also use that one i would also suggest using that one uh everything that i mentioned is going to be in the description because i like putting things in the description because i like to help people so yeah let's turn this master volume down so everybody can hear me i hope this helped because steam controller has been like selling lately it's just it's just not, it's not hidden anymore. So I had to find some alternatives. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it took so long. It took like a few months because I'm lazy. To be honest with you, I'm just extremely lazy. And also I like uploading other videos because you know, I'm I'm a variety YouTuber. I like, I like my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. And without any other further ado, I'll see you guys later in the next one. Bye-bye.